Teacher Danica, your teacher in Grade 5 Science. Today, we're going to learn about the necessary conditions and components needed to run an electric circuit. But before that, have you ever wondered if electricity has not yet been discovered? How important is electricity in your daily life? Most of the things you use are powered by electricity. If there's no electricity, you can't watch shows on the television. You can charge your phone to play your favorite mobile games, and you can't use the electric fan when it's hot. You can't use your computer to make your schoolwork easier and faster. Everyday activities such as studying, entertainment, and household chores involve electricity. So what is electricity? Electricity is the movement of electrons from one place to another. How does electricity flow? The movement of electrons along a path is called a current. Electric current is the kind of electricity you use every day to light your home and run your appliances. An electric current can be compared to a flowing stream of water. It flows from negative to positive following a path. The path through which a current flows is called a circuit. Now, what are the parts of a circuit? An electric circuit is composed of the following components. First is the power supply. It is the source of energy to move the electrons. For example, dry cell, battery, generator, or solar cell. The next part is the connector. These are the wire or other conductors that link all parts of the circuit and create a path where current flows. Silver, copper, and aluminum wire are good conductors of electricity. The third part is the load. It is an output device that uses electricity such as a light bulb, appliances, computers, and gadgets. And the fourth part is the switch. It controls the flow of electricity. It can connect or disconnect the path of electric current. Now let's make a complete circuit. In doing this activity, you can ask for some help from your family members. You may also take a photo or video for documentation in doing this activity. Now what are the things that we need? We need a bulb socket, small size for a flashlight bulb, screwdriver, three copper wires, flashlight bulb, two dry cells, size of a AA battery, switch, scissors, electrical tape, and cardboard. First step, using the screwdriver, loosen the two screws on both sides of the bulb socket. Second step, on each screw, loop one end of a copper wire, then tighten the screws again to secure the copper wires. Third step, put the flashlight bulb into the bulb socket. Step 4, using the screwdriver, loosen the two screws at the back of the switch. Fifth step, open the switch, loosen the two screws, loop the end of the third copper wire on one of the screws, then loop the end of one of the copper wire connected on the bulb socket on the other screw. Sixth step, Tighten the two screws and close the switch and the two screws at the back. Seventh step, connect the two AA battery horizontally and cut electrical tapes to secure the negative and positive ends of the two batteries. Eighth step, cut two electrical tapes and use them to secure the ends of the copper wires to the positive and negative nodes of the dry cell.
Next step, now switch on the switch. At this point, the bulb should light up. If not, you may request your parents' help. And the last step, now let's secure your work on an illustration board or cardboard. If you light up the bulb, good job! If not, don't be sad. You may ask your parents' help. I hope you learn a lot and enjoy your activity today. Till next time, goodbye!